Hey guys, it's Nibble from Topaz, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got an XJ Executive for you, and that's a Jaguar for those of you that don't know. It's from the 1990s and the cars come to us for a level three treatment. The car is finished in British Racing Green, and uh, some of you may know that's a flat color, meaning it's a solid color, so it's actually very prone to defects, as you can see, uh, you'll be able to see in the video. Um, and what we decided to do on the car is a level three treatment, and what does that actually mean? We've done a lot of videos of, you know, cars being prepped brand new cars with our level two treatment which is a new car detail and then we've also shown you the extreme which is a level five signature detail uh, we haven't quite shown you what a level three detail does and and with that i thought it'd be a great car to show you what and what essentially is it's a correction detail and we go into removing the defects between 80 to 95 percent correction factor and that's how i like to always tell people what they're going to be getting so it's going to become essentially 80 to 95 percent better than what it currently is now um, it being a, a solid color is probably one of the hardest colors uh, to and the, the green is probably one of the hardest colors and it's also got the very soft paint as well so for those of you that don't know if a car's paintwork if the clear coat is soft it just means that it just takes a lot longer to get that finish that you want because everything that you do with it every combination that you use will leave something else so whether it leaves holograms or whether it leave a bit of hazing or whether it leaves something else it always leaves you something back right at the end of the process and then you're having to guess exactly which combination and pad combination that and compound combination will work on that panel and on that paintwork but we got there in the end and the car looks fantastic obviously it's still uh a, you know quite an old car it's it's uh the, the client has had it for a while he didn't want to paint the whole car so we decided to just you know give it a little freshen up and that level three is exactly what you're about to see so i'll catch up with you in a bit After decontamination, the first step with all of our paint correction details is to properly mask the car. Using masking tape with a gentle adhesive, this allows us to protect sensitive trims and rubbers on the car. If a part was damaged on the car of this age, it would be impossible to find a replacement. The goal is to leave only painted surfaces and the headlights exposed, allowing them to be machined and corrected. This car is actually having our level 3 correction detail, which I don't believe we have done many videos on before. The purpose of this detail is to eliminate defects including medium swirl marks and holograms, offering up to 95% correction factor. This is a three-stage correction, hence the name, starting with a medium abrasive compound which cuts into the clear coat, removing deep scratches and swirl marks that have accumulated over the years. This step is one of the crucial differences to our level two enhancement detail, as it allows us to cut deeper into the clear coat and eliminate deeper defects. This is carried out all over every painted section of the car, paying extra attention to any areas which have suffered the most. We use a small polishing machine for hard to reach areas. With a detail like this, there is a big difference before and after, so any spots missed will stick out like a sore thumb. You can already see a huge difference before and after here. The right hand side that hasn't been treated and the left hand side that has. 
There are still some swirl marks remaining at this step, but this is only after one pass on the first stage. The rest of the detail will further refine the clear coat, getting a maximum potential out of it. After the first stage is completed, Bogdan, our detailer, moves on to the microfiber pad on the dual action polisher. This is to remove the haze on any holograms that are in the paintwork. There's nothing worse than catching your car in the right light, at the right angle, in the sunlight, and seeing nasty holograms in the clear coat. This process uses a finer compound than the first stage and allows us to refine the clear coat to get it looking how we want it to. You can already see in these shots that the paint is starting to look 100 times better than it did at the start. We also use small polishing machines again with this compound so that no stone is left unturned. The final stage of paint correction for this car is the dueling stage using a very very fine compound. This is to get a maximum gloss out of the clear coat especially now that we have eliminated the defects. It's this stage that is the icing on the cake for the detail, making the paint shine like it should. Part of our level 3 detail is an extensive interior treatment. The light leathers on this car have lost their original colour from decades of use. Fortunately, our details are able to restore them by carefully brushing and sponging. Just look at the 50-50 on this. It's a different seat. Our guys go over every little bit of the interior, front and back, including the details like inside the air vents and the seat belts, of course. Truly bringing the interior back to life. Finally, our detailers use a finisher to lock in the gloss into the paintwork, giving it luster for miles to come. We use our Topaz Car Care Quick Detailer for the best results, once the car is checked over, the car is ready to hand over back to the customer. But first, let's show you the final product. And there you have it guys, that was the whole process of detailing this XJ. This is a 25 year old car, but actually once we start detailing it, it looks great now, but 
we went through a lot of difficulties because the paintwork itself is extremely soft. It's been repainted a few times in different areas of the car. And that, that sort of gave us a huge challenge because on one panel, the, 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 the clear coat was different to other panels. So in order to treat them, they were totally different uh, and different techniques. So in areas, for example, like the roof, uh, and the doors, it was a different technique to the bonnet and the front bumper. So, but we got there in the end after we exercised different pad and compound combinations. And afterwards, when we got to the end result, it looks fantastic. So we did a level three on this. So we did three stages of paint correction. Some areas we actually did four stages because it, the paintwork really needed it. And it's not it, by all means perfect right now, the paintwork, but what it has done is just given it that leaf of life where it's just giving it that gloss factor, the depth of color, it's back in there. And obviously this car is a solid green. Um, as I stated, it's very, very hard to work on because it's a solid green, soft, clear coat. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a detailer's nightmare when it comes to this color but, uh, and this finish, but it's absolutely, it, it, after looking at it now, it looks amazing, as you can see uh, from the before and after, it's a fantastic uh, change. Now, the interior obviously re required a, a good clean, as you can see before, it was uh, very, very badly soiled, again, from years of use. That has actually been uh, refreshed. It could do with obviously some, uh, some um, uh, paint works inside, so actually conditioning, reconditioning it, um, but the customer didn't opt to do that at the moment, uh, but that was something that we might do in the future. Um, but again, it just, it's just such a big improvement to where it was before to where it is right now. But yeah, we're gonna be getting some more of these cool gold classic cars that are gonna be coming through. I think a lot of you like and enjoy seeing these go from being a bit more tired to actually now looking like they're in showroom condition. So anyway, hope you like that one. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.